Hello and welcome to Roguelike Rookie. My name's Suchmink and uh, I'm starting this series because I've made a growing interest, or I've been experiencing a growing interest in roguelike games. It's uh, the asymmetrical ones, non-asymmetrical ones, uh, stuff like Binding of Isaac, which we'll be playing today, uh, Dungeon Souls, I've been really enjoying that, Enter the Gungeon, um, Nuclear Thrones, one that's been, uh, which I've been told about, which I haven't tried out yet. Um, so why is it called Roguelike Rookie? Well, because I am definitely no pro roguelike player. In the most roguelike games I've spent about 10 to 15 hours in roughly, uh, means I'm fairly at the beginning and I haven't beaten any of them. I think Binding of Isaac, the first one I beat Mom once, and that's about it. Anyways, start off, I've just uh, freshly installed this. As you can see, stats, nothing, items, nothing. I haven't done anything in this game. This will be the first run. And it, I will be playing on controller plus seven heart. Uh, uh, unlocked by not picking up parts. Can I play these people? I don't know. We'll start with Isaac. He's standard, normal. Alright, so that's how I attack. And the rest we'll find out. Okay. So, who's this? God. What do we get? Half a heart. Do we need a heart? No. Can I get coins out of these? Okay, I remember you could break these things. Oh no, you can, you can put out fires. Sometimes you get a heart out of that. So yes. Oh god, these people are jumping around a lot. So yeah, like I said, I've been playing Dungeon Souls quite a lot. And that's ridiculously hard, but it is also a load of fun. Um, especially due to the character diversity. They all have different attacks, uh, obviously different stats. Oh god, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change. I haven't found us anything yet. It's actually quite scary. I feel so weak. So why do I like isometrical roguelike games? Well, this is, the thing is, roguelike and all this, doesn't matter how many times you've played it, it to me, it's always new and different because uh, there's always different item combinations you could do um, to change the way you play. It's like a way of going very defensively, going very off offensively, and uh, there's loads of stuff you can do, and it's always different. Okay, that seems like a boss. So what's this crown thing? I haven't played with Isaac in ages. It's an item. What do we get? Toxic splash damage. Ooh, I'm glowing. Look at me. Ooh. Um, okay, I think I just completely wasted. I have no money. I just wasted a key, I think. So is that the first level already? Wow. Easy. It's fairly easy. So we're against Dingle. It's a cute little poo. So Dingle. Well, okay, Dingle shooting at me. And Google's flying at me. And Google's still flying at me. What the hell is going on? So that's... I probably... God, I just lost like... Over half my HP just from... His charge attacks. So he seems to be standing there. He's just shooting his blood at me. It's fine, I can handle that. Move out of the way of that. Oh god, but then he starts doing stuff like that. Now he's tired. Look at him. Tired little poop. Whoa, and he's going crazy again. And he's a tired little poo again. Uh oh, he's not tired. Oh, yes. Alright, so we get a heart back. We get a grey heart, which is something like a bonus heart. Damage up. Pentagram. Ooh, devilish. See, that's why I like it. Because your character appearance changes over time. Changes due to what items you take or may not take. Like I said, roguelike rookie, don't expect me to take items uh, or, or to say I'm not taking this one because it's no good. Especially in this game I have no clue what what is. So I will most probably be taking everything I can get. I have no key, that's locked for some reason. And there's a golden poo in there. So how do I put down a bomb like that? Yeah, that doesn't work. God damn it. So, yeah, wasted a bomb. I should have used the bomb here. I could have got a coin there. Never mind. Small little poos again, and poo everywhere. 
Ow. <sighs> he's charging, he's charging. It's just too much for me right now. Okay, so uh, they split up into two. See, these characters, I can't remember them being in the normal Isaac. So we're playing Isaac Rebirth. Uh, just getting an Isaac Rebirth Plus is coming out. Eventually. Uh, I think it should have been coming out this month, if I'm not mistaken, but they kind of postponed it due to probably some finishing touches they want to do, which is always good. I'd rather prefer people doing finishing touches and bringing a brilliant game out than uh, just rushing into it. Going, okay, we've got to make money, we've got to do it quickly. That seems like a boss again. Do I want to go to the boss already? I think there's more rooms I can go into, isn't there? There's a room here. Oh my god, I'm wasting all my cash. All my all my keys. I'm, gonna re I'm really gonna regret this later. Anyway, I'm oh god. So we got Mr. Droopy Face. Mr. Droopy Face is down thanks to damage up and uh, toxic splash damage. So that's why I can, uh, could he use the key? Oh well. Up to the boss it is. So, there's the boss. Gurglings! Look kind of intestine like. I've oh got this charging in here. Why do they always have to charge? Why does it always have to be charging enemies? I think it doesn't matter which one of the two I damage. Um, oh, I'm not allowed to walk over the blood trails. I get it now. So they charge and have blood trails, and I have to try not to walk over that. So let's try not get pinned into a corner. Get rid of the flies, because they come close. Okay, one's gone. That's good. And two's gone. Monster's Tooth has appeared in the basement, and I even got an achievement for that. Meat, damage, and HP. This is good. That's good, I feel this is going smoothly. Is he? Oh my god. Yes, Isaac's got pooed on. So Isaac seems to be like kind of a bully. If I remember the story correctly from the first one, his mum got told by some heavenly voice that his son was a spawn of Satan and needed to be punished. So she kind of took away everything he owned, like all his toys and everything. And then the god told him that wasn't enough. So she then uh, locked him into his room. Is that bad? Okay. Um, so she locked him into his room, and that wasn't enough either. The heavenly voice was still not happy with that. I told her that that wasn't enough. Shoot these. They went on and put him into the basement, and that's where we are now. <laughs> if I remember the story correctly, get rid of spiders. Let's... So he just pukes spiders, and apart from that, and I think all these little creatures, apart from spiders obviously, but all these like human-y type creatures are siblings, yeah, like brothers and sisters, freaky stuff like that, I don't know. It's a very eerie touch to this game, but I think that's what makes up quite a lot of fun of it. Oh. Nothing there, I have no key for that because I waste all my keys. Good at that. One. There we go. Oh, get the house back, get the house back. That's good. We need these houses. What is God? Okay, so these walk on the walls. And we're looking really good now, but that's the boss already. Do I want to go to the boss already? I can't get to that room. But if look at the map. Go along here, go back down. And there should be different rooms. Alright, there's a battery here. I don't know what to do with it. Do I have to shoot it? Press on it? Do something with it? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what I have to do with the battery. Uh, how am I meant to get to that without taking damage? I don't have a key anyway, so sod that. Let's go with this way. Ah, this is one of the machines where I think you can swap your HP for coins. But we're not going to do that because... I'm terrible at dodging, as you probably already can tell. I'm not gonna sacrifice no HP, not for coins. Oh god, that one's really fast. Why is the yellow one faster? There's another battery. Right, so if anybody in the comments can tell me what these batteries are for, and 
Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I'd really appreciate that. Some coins and an eyeball. The inner eye. Triple shot. Oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh, look at that. Neon slimy tears. I know there's um, certain ways of finding secret rooms as well. Can't quite recall how you do it. Gertie. Gertie, Gertie, Gertie. Is it just me or is my uh, damage gone? Uh, uh, my, my attack speed gone down? It feels like it. Ow. Yeah, it definitely seems like my attack speed's gone down. I'm gonna keep dodging into them. And dodge into them as well. I thought I could dodge it. He's hit me every time. Every single time. Now you know why I don't want to sacrifice HP. <laughs> oh, what? He's changed his shoot pattern as well. Okay, it's either him or me. Good. It's him, not me. God. Ultimate Grand Supreme. Is that a part? It's a party hat. I got a party hat. What does it do? Is there any way of uh, checking my stuff? Okay. I can't look at it like. I always find it difficult to remember combinations of items that work really well. I mean, obviously, uh, the triple tiers together with. Uh, the acid stuff is obviously going to work great, it's like both damage things. Okay, 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 this is really scary. How am I going to hit him down there without getting hit by the spiders? Yeah, guys. Okay, <laughs> run number one. Do it again. How am I guess... Are we getting the same items again? So we found the first toxic splash damage, that was the first item we found last time. And we found another battery, and I still don't know what they're for. I still can't pick up. Can I push it like through the door? Let's try that. What's this as well? There's something there. Let's see, it looks like a fuse. Uh, can't get down. Um, now I thought you could maybe push it through the room and you would need it for other things. So, um... Ooh. Ooh, money, 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 money. Well, thank you. Um, is that a rainbow? Oh, that's rainbow poo. How do you get rainbow poo? I want rainbow poo. What happens when I destroy it? Rainbow! Hooray! And now what? I have a feeling these toxic tears do shitloads of damage. Yeah, but like I said, if there's anything in the comments, uh, some <laughs> another reason. Oh, I've got some tro troll bomb. God, I love the troll ones. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this as well is because there's a lot of questions which I have about the different games I play, like Dungeon Souls, uh, for example. You can get different stats up, there's like attack damage, uh, magic damage, stuff like that, where you'd normally think, okay, so a major type character takes magic damage, but that's not entirely how it works. Um, which is, like, like I said, I'm not quite sure exactly how it works. But we'll save that for a different uh, So he's not very dangerous, this is great. This is like a fairly neat little first boss, I can handle him. I think it's the first boss I haven't been beaten up by him. At all. He seems to spawn the spiders, and as long as I destroy the spiders in between, he's kept busy with spawning new ones. Uh, 
Um, there we go. What item do we get? Stem cells. HP up. Oh, this ship is so beautiful. I mean, just look at him. He looks great. Nothing strange about him. Record. Of course they trust this bomb troll bombs. Evil. Evil. I got Mr. Droopy Face. And Fat Bastard. I was lucky there. Probably I should have uh, at least taken some damage. Getting myself caught in a corner like that. Not the best way of going about things. But I have an idea. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, the idea worked great. See what I did there. See, rookies can learn. Rookies can learn. I can learn. So, we haven't been to pay him. I have no idea what the record room does. Um, I am inclined to try it out. And it seems to have like some kind of coin slit in it. So, I'm guessing you have to pay for, for the entrance, basically. Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Let's beat the meatloaf. Okay, his shots flew further than I expected them to, and he's like... Uh, actually, sorry, I've got loads of bombs. Might as well use them. Loads of bombs. I've got two. What is that? Oh god, he's got... I thought you had toxic tears out just a second. I got it. Uh, I'm not gonna waste it. Oh, I'm gonna do this though. Spoon, homie. Oh yes. Actually, wait a minute. Look, they, okay, they still have the uh, uh, the acid thing. And now I have. Oh, that was a question which would be better. The homing thing seems to be good. I guess it's good. It sounds good. So, what's this? Donation. What happens? Nothing. Oh, I get a heart. That's good. Let's see what else we get. Nope. Come on. Got one coin left. Uh, thumbs up. What does the thumbs up do? Okay. I'm skin. Off to the boss we go. Dingle. Oh, that's a poo that flies at you. And shoots at me. Yeah. I'll just stand still when he does that. So keep smiling, keep smiling. Smiling's fine. I can handle smiling. Happy little poo. Happy little poo. Okay, Pooh's gone. I actually feel bad for that, he was kind of nice. Smiling and whistling and friendly, friendly guy. Damage and range. 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 Which is good. <laughs> it means I can hide in corners and just shoot from corners and not get hit. In theory. So, we have flies. Actually, these homing things are amazing. Okay, is there any way to get over there? No, I can't. There's a red box as well. The red box I promise you the rest of it. I don't know how to get it. So Okay, so there's the ones with the face they charge you and the ones without a face uh, just walk their random ways. These flies move a bit too fast for the homing thingies. I feel like I had to pre 
fire that quite up. The happy poos. So I hit puby. Oh no. I look terrible. What's happened to me? God damn you, puberty. Why? Yes, but what does what it to see that? That's the problem I have with this game. I've now got a power called puberty and I don't know what it does. Ooh, ooh, I know how to get over here. I have a key as well. Oh, I have a secret room. I should use bombs more often, I keep finding secret rooms. Ridiculously bad. Oh, this is where the hand, where where the range and the uh, homing really comes in handy. Go and see what I want to pick up. What's this? Capricorn. All stats up. Okay, this is good. <laughs> I look worse than I did before, but sod it, it works. I have eight coins. Is there? Can you actually buy some with eight coins? Like everything in here explodes when I destroy it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, he's gone. And he's gone. There we go. Let's go back up here, back up here, over here, and we have not been here yet. What do we get? A hairy bomb hole? Shooting a ridiculous amount. There we go. Yeah, there is a way of looking around, so I've got to go all the way back. Okay. See, that's where, where different games work differently. At Enter the Gungeon, you have the perfect ability of pouring. I mean, in every single room, there's nothing left because I killed it all. Oh no, he was the one who did loads of damage to me earlier, wasn't he? Actually, no, he's different. But I am doing a lot of damage to him. So should be able to Yeah, there we go. Mum's underwear. Ugh, okay. Range even higher. Mum's underwear. Ugh. That is a uh Tears up. Bad gas. I should use this way earlier, I got this ages ago. No, 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 no. That was well worth it, I think. Isaac was surprised. So this has got to be one of my siblings. What does he do? Oh god, no, he doesn't. Okay, he does. Did he just damage himself? Loads. The tower. Destruction brings. Oh, I couldn't read it. Too fast. No. This game wants to see me dead. I mean, I guess that's the whole part point of a roguelike game, but... Let's use our range a bit here. Kill all that over there before we... No battery. What do the batteries mean? What does it all mean? Okay, two bombs. I'll take that. Oh no. I know these things. These used to be a boss. Possibly still are a boss, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. But I'm really, really hitting hard. This is great. There you go, one's gone. I guess that was kind of a mini boss. Like, the bomb down there. So we can get over here and get two more bombs. Oh, okay. I guess it was a win situation. Ow, ow, ow. 
I don't like poo. I really do not like poo in this game. They just, they're so fast. Or I'm just terrible. But they seem to be so fast, I don't know how to dodge them. Let's use our range, use our range. Play smart. Okay, I didn't expect that. Don't walk into the spikes. Careful of the spikes. So there is a heart over there. I have 18 coins. I'm going to go into the shop this time. 15 coins, what does it do? I'll take it. Giant spiders and flies. Does it make them easier to hit? I think that was a bad choice. Why do I feel like I've done something terribly wrong? Haha, <laughs> you're not getting me that time. My damage is too high. Same with you. Come at me, bro. Come on. There's a boss room, um, but I won't be taking it straight away yet. Let's check where. Um, yeah. There's one thing I've learned in roguelike games: is never leave an uh, an area or a, or a level, a floor, before completing it because you can find really useful stuff and you'll regret it missing the stuff. Oh, there we go. We've got a heart. He's throwing bones at me. Could you, could you not do that, please? Could you just stop like this? And we got loads of money again. Infestation shot. I keep looking at it. It's going from bad to worse, looks wise. I don't know if the items are any good, actually. I've just been picking everything up I can find. So, in case there's anything I picked up in this episode where you guys say, no, no, no. Why did you do that? How stupid can you get? Let me know. Please. Alright, I've got this power card. From this, uh, the tower. Uh, 1051, so that would be uh, 16. Card number 16, is that right? Any Roman numerical geniuses out there? No, no, I stopped moving. Oh, aha. I dodged it then. Every time it disappears, I've just got to keep moving. Ah, but we've got this time. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, that's an infestation shot. I get what the infestation shot is. This means when I kill somebody. No chubby. Uh, I get a HP and luck. I guess that's item drops then. Uh, every time I kill somebody, I get a little spider friend. Who do not follow me to the next depth. So, oh yeah, they do. What was that? Wait, 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 wait. What was that? You got no way. Don't tell me that's mum. It's mum. It's definitely mum, isn't it? I have a feeling I have to beat this because it seems to be really worth it. Am I losing hearts every time I do this? That would be really evil. Yes, I am, goddammit. Okay, forget that one. These guys can only be shot from behind, which makes it really annoying to kill them. But I guess I have acid shots, maybe that's why I just managed to do it from the front. God, what's that in my face? Okay. So, we got at least as a dodge too. I promise you guys I will practice this while uh, before doing the next episode. Um, I could play this, I could play one of the other ones. Like I said, I've still got Dungeon Soul, I've got Enter the Gungeon, where I'm a bit more practiced on both of them. Not good, like, don't expect too much, but uh, a bit more practice. So, uh, give me a heads up in the, in the comment section what you'd like to see for the next one. Anyway, until then, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, any positive as negative critics uh, or positive comments are always welcome. Leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.